Hey guys, how's it going today? We're going to be talking about how to do two-way data binding using ng-model in Angular. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new Angular project. So ng-new, ng-model, example. Alright, so once that's been created, I'm going to change directory into uh, that project folder. And I'm going to open it in a code editor. Then I'm going to go to the source folder and go to app and app.component.html and I'm going to delete this content here and I'm going to create an input um, of type text and I'm going to now use the ng model syntax here to bind this input to a property in our component class so we're going to use square brackets and then normal brackets and then type in ng model and then make that equal to the name of a property which I'm going to call um, username. And now in the component class, I'm going to create the property username. OK, um, so we've now created that property. So now we can save this and save the template. And let's serve this now. So terminal and ng serve. So now we can go to localhost 4200 and we don't see anything here oh yeah and uh, that's because we're going to get an error and uh, we can't bind to ng model because it's not a known property of input and that's because we haven't imported the forms module so now let's go to app.module.ts and let's import the forms module and we can import it in this array here there we go, if we save that now, we now get the input here and we don't get the error here. Cool. So now we can now type something into here and nothing really happens. So to probably test this out, we should probably show this property within the UI somewhere. So let's go back to our template and here let's create um, a heading that says your user um, your username is then with string interpretation we can now put in username so now that will be showing the property username in the heading tag so save that and now this should work and it should show up when we type something in here is test so there we go we now have two-way data binding so now whenever we type something into the text box it instantly updates the property which is in the component class, and we can then grab that and show it in the UI. So testing, hello world, it's all instantly updating. So that was a very basic example of how to achieve two-way data binding in Angular. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, be sure to post them down in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. See you next time.